And now a word about doctrine. I'm going to make mistakes in the things that I say. Let me beat you to the punch on this one. I do not have it all figured out, of course. The reality is that no human being ever gets it all right. Not even the most well-known, respected, and sought-after speakers, leaders, and teachers. Hopefully they get it more right than others, but they still will not get it all right. Every human being makes mistakes, and so it is relatively easy to find fault with pretty much anybody. It is easy to pick people apart, criticize them, and to find fault with what they say and do. It happens all over the world, all the time. What is not so easy to do is to contribute positive, constructive feedback that helps us all to grow. But that is what I would ask you to do. So of course you are going to be able to find things wrong with what I say. Of course you are going to be able to catch my mistakes. And of course you are going to be able to find holes in my doctrine and my theology. Of course, of course, of course. As well, I am aware that it will be possible to, quote, prove me wrong, unquote, using the Bible. This happens all over the internet all the time. This is also easy to do. In fact, I have already found Bible verses that contradict some of the things I say. Join the club. So, it is going to be possible to, quote, prove me wrong, unquote, using the Bible. No kidding. But I would ask that if you are going to do this, to please do it in a manner that builds up and helps people, myself included. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. So let's get me right in order to get more truth and reality out to the people I'm trying to reach. I have heard people from one denomination disproving the beliefs or the credibility of another denomination, and then shortly thereafter, heard folks from the latter denomination disproving and discrediting the prior denomination. And they all do it using the Bible as their basis for doing so. And then they each respectively warn me of the dangers of the other denomination. This does not seem to be the goal. The goal ought to be love from a pure heart and a sincere faith and a good conscience. 1 Timothy 1 verse 5. Simply proving others wrong is not promoting love and usually does not help people. Sometimes people are truly wrong and need to be confronted about it. This is true. However, apart from these cases, we ought to be pursuing the things that make for peace and the building up of one another. Romans 14:19. A lot of doctrinal bickering is simply works of the flesh, as described by the Apostle Paul in the book of, book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 20. Enmities, strife, dissensions, disputes, and factions. I am attempting to move beyond that realm and into the realm of legitimately helping people with your help. Ultimately, it is not my doctrine that I am attempting to promote. I am attempting to promote Christ's doctrine and his truth. Christ and God are the true masters of reality. I'm just doing my best to follow them and to lead people to them and to communicate reality as defined by them, not as defined by me. If I am able, by the grace of God, to effectively communicate truth and reality, it's because of them. This is not the Jesse show. This is the us show. I'm open to feedback, correction, new ideas, new thoughts, and constructive criticism. This channel is a team effort between myself, God, friends and family, and you. We all have a part to play in helping people. Any worthwhile undertaking takes a team to make it work. Teamwork makes the dream work. 1 Peter 5 verse 5 says that we are to be clothed in humility toward one another. That means that I acknowledge you, listen to you, and be willing to learn from you. So. Please provide feedback, ideas, and constructive criticism. I need it. However, if you are going to attempt to prove me wrong, then please do so in a constructive way, a way that benefits everybody, and in a way that helps all of us to grow, in a way that may even help to save lives, because you never know who may be listening. We all have different pieces of the picture that we need to bring to the table to complete the masterpiece. Thank you, and good night.